What's up everyone? Sean Count Blagerth here with an album review, this time of the 2012 Unique Leader Records release of Metamorphic Nation by Archaic. If you're not familiar with Archaic, they are a technical death metal band and this is my first exposure to them so I cannot compare it to their past album. Uh, I'm really, really, really am impressed by this. I'm very impressed. This is something that I didn't really expect to love as much as I do. Technical death metal is something that is very hit or miss for me. I cannot stand necrophagist. I cannot stand bands of that nature where it is an oh, oh, like just very overbearing assault of sweeps and taps and scales and just in my opinion a total complete waste of CD space. Um, I don't like that stuff at all. I like technical death metal done right. I love Rings of Saturn. They're probably one of my favorite bands in the technical death metal genre. I love Obscura. I love Inanimate Existence is a great one. And now I have another band to add to this. Archaic. This album is a rather lengthy release clocking in at roughly an hour long and the time flies by with this album very fast the great thing about albums like that is you can listen to them over and over again and pick up new things but it doesn't feel tiresome it doesn't feel annoying it doesn't feel like a chore to listen to again and again and that's something that I really really like um this album is very well constructed, well um, conceived, thought out, and executed. I love this album. Everything about it is the way technical death metal should be. From the production, which is crystal clear, very full, very thick sounding, very massive sounding, to the songwriting and the flow and the song structures. The way the songs flow and are structured out is it never repeats itself, which is a very rare thing for a uh, technical death metal band to really do, is to not repeat themselves in an album. And with this album, every song brings something new to the table or something different or has a different flow to it. A lot of bands, it's very predictable structure. Starts off blistering fast with you know, blast beats, maybe even gravities, uh, bomb blasts, uh, insane sweeping, tapping scales, just all that stuff with a very low, brutal, guttural vocal, and then that kind of maybe progresses into a slam, then back to the fast, with a couple chugs here and there. With this, you will find songs that kind of have structures like that, but then you'll find songs where almost has a sort of melody to it, especially in the solos, which is something that I'm really enjoying is the melody in the solos where it keeps it technical and it keeps it interesting, but it also has this sort of melodic quality to it where you can really get sucked into the music and have not only the melody, but the actual solo itself get stuck in your head. It's a very memorable thing. And if I can't remember the music that is on this album, then the band didn't do their job, and everything about this is memorable. Uh, even moments that a lot of people would find boring, let's say a slam, for example, with the chugging, they keep it interesting because they don't keep it 4-4 throughout it. They will add an extra like snare pop in there, which will cause that part of the riff to end, and then break off into a whole new part or keep it shorter or maybe make the riff longer and they do that within the slams and within the actual riffs themselves which is awesome to hear because quite honestly that's something I don't hear that often not only in technical death metal but in metal in general is music this thought out and this is executed so well um, the guitar just has this very thick brutal just completely sense overwhelming quality to it where <clears throat> it just takes over your senses and just drowns all your thoughts with this just massive heavy destructive guitar tone um 
and not only is it heavy but it's clean and the solos really show the cleanness of this tone it it's just so perfect when it comes to uh, technical death metal. Um, the bass, very good tone. I find a lot of tech death bands to have a rather flat bass tone where it either sounds like tapping or kind of like maybe little plunks. I hate bass tone like that. I like a more of a warm low end and that's what Archaic have is a warm low end. I must say it is so good the bass breaks off into its own territory but not too far off where it sounds like a jumbled mess and that's very important for me it is a bassist to not only do what he's supposed to do which is kind of keep the song together or not even just maybe add an extra level of depth to the music but i like it when it kind of sticks with it but breaks off just a little bit but not too much. I hate it when a bassist just goes completely off into a different territory and just kind of jumbles up the mix and jumbles up the entire song and just kind of makes it unlistenable or kind of makes it instead of adding more depth it does the opposite just kind of makes it more shallow and kind of feel pointless. The bass never does that. The drums are just so fast. The drummer in this band is disgusting. Just the absolute power behind not only his blast beats and fills, but his double bass. Just everything he does is so precise and so powerful. It's commanding, especially the moments where the double bass kicks in. It just kicks you square in the dick and just tells you this is this is it. This is going to be the album that you're going to listen to probably for a long time. I've listened to this album probably for about four days straight. This is a very commanding record and it will command your attention. It kicks you in the dick and it says, this is going to be your life for the next hour. Listen to us. And you listen because you're afraid it's going to kick you in the dick harder. Um, just very good stuff. The mixing of the drums sounds great. Everything is perfectly audible. I love the kick sound. I'm very picky when it comes to uh, kick drums, especially in modern death metals. I feel like they get over-processed. The EQ never sounds good to me, typically. I hate over-trigger drums that have been cranked up and sound clicky. If your kick sounds like a click, I won't listen to your record. And thank God that this does not sound clicky. Um, just a great sound. Uh, vocal wise, very low, very brutal, very uh, heavy vocal. Uh, typical death metal growl, but it fits really well with the music. Only complaint is there's not much variation in the range of the vocals, but with that said, what the vocalist is doing here works very, very well. Um, this is a incredible record incredible there is so much going on <clears throat> that you can't just fully grasp it in one listen you may understand what they're going for and you may enjoy what they're going for within the first listen but if you want to truly appreciate this album for what it is which is an absolute masterpiece of technical death metal you have to sit down and listen to this multiple times and you're gonna want to listen to it multiple times this has tons of replayability to it. This is going to be in my CD player for a while. Um, this is actually, and this is a bold statement for me to make, because there's been a lot of amazing death metal come out this year. So far, this is death metal album of the year. Um, it hasn't topped my album of the year, which is Ahab the Giant, but this may end up being my second favorite album of the year. This album is near flawless, and I encourage you to pick this up when it comes out on October 9th. This is an amazing album. Buy this. I'm going to give this a solid 9.5 out of 10. Do yourself a favor and buy this album. You will not regret it, especially if you're a fan of Tech Death. This is a must-have. So 9.5 out of 10. 
Thank you for watching. Thank you for subscribing. And as always, keep it metal.